students so today i am going to teach you kinetic energy in an external electric field already we discussed in last class kinetic energy due to an absence of an due to an absence of an external electric field for a single charge for two charge and for three charge so in this topic we discuss about the presence of electric field and potential energy. So we can write for a single charge. For a single charge. So what will be the potential for a single charge? Let us assume let E be the external electric field. Let E be the external electric field. Now what we are doing? We are bringing a charge from infinite distance to given point P. Suppose Q be the charge and P be a point in an external electric field. So Q is the charge. We are bringing this Q charge from infinite distance to given point in an external electric field. So this one under is stored in the form of potential energy already we discussed. So what we do the work done? W is equal to work done is equal to. Potential into charge. Potential into charge. So this potential is represented by V of R vector. Why we are taking V of R vector? V of R vector represent potential in an external electric field with position vector. Position vector. Vector. Position vector vector R. So V of R represent position electrostatic potential at external electric field with position vector vector R. That's why we are writing. So in last case there is no external electric field. That's why we are ignoring vector form. But in this case there is an external field is of already present. That's why we are taking vector R. Now so V of R represent This extra, this field, this work done is in an is an external electric field. So next, what we have to find out potential energy. So potential energy is stored in the form of work done. So work done, how work is done? Bringing a charge, bringing a charge from infinite distance to given point P. Bringing a Q charge from infinite distance to given point P, which is present in an external electric field with a position vector v of with, with a position vector vector r now we can directly write u is equal to q into v of r so this is for single charge this is for single charge for two charges for two charges consider this is for For two charges, for two charges, for two charges, which which is present in an external electric field. So what we are doing? Consider Q one is the charge at point A. Q one is the charge at point A because of this Q one. V1 is V1 potential is because of an external electric field V1 is developing. Huh? V1 potential is developing. One more charge is present. We say we can say Q2 at point B. Q2 at point B. Now the distance between A and B, or we can say Q1 and Q2 is supposed to be R12. R12 is the distance between Q1 and Q2. So this Q1 and Q2 is already present in an external electric field. So what we have to do? What we have to do? Let us assume V1 and V2 are the two potential, are the potential, potential at point A and B, A and B, A and B at point A and B. So V1 and V2 are the two potential at point A and B with position vectors with position.
position with position vectors R1 vector and R2 vector respectively. R1 vector and R2 vector respectively. So potential at A we can write at point A. So what will be the potential? Uh, sorry, what will be the work done? Already we discussed. Suppose W1 is the work done at point A, bringing a Q1 charge from infinite distance to a given point A in an external electric field. So work done is nothing but charge multiplied by potential. So potential in this case is V1, charge in this case is Q1. V of R1 vector. Why we are taking R1 vector? Because an external field is already present. An external field is already present. That's why we are taking P1. So we can write at point B. What will be the work done at point B? Again, what we are doing? We are bringing a charge Q2 from infinite distance to a given point B in an external electric field. Similarly, we can write W2 is equal to Q2 charge. V2 potential with position vector R1 with position vector R1. So these are the two work done. One more work done is present. That work done is due to the charge Q1. Already we discussed in the already we discussed in previous topic in the absence of an external electric field due to second charge. Sorry, due to first charge. On second charge, there is an electric field is developed. Huh? Q1 charge se, Q2 charge pe ek electric field developed diye. Agar hum external electric field ko ignore bhi kar diye, yahan pe ye case mein agar hum ignore bhi kar diye, to Q1 charge se, Q2 charge ka already ek field produce ho gaya. Huh? So wo field pe hi work done ho raha. So suppose that work done should be W3, which is equal to 1 pi, 4 pi epsilon naught. Q1, Q2, R1, R1, Q2. Already we discussed in the options of an external electric field. So external electric field then, again Q2 charge by an external electric field, to be again ignore me. So Q1 charge to this is a field producer, what is the field? What is the field? The work done here, W3 is equal to 1 by 4 by R1, Q1, Q2, R1, R1. Now total work done, W is the sum of individual work done, that is W1, W2 plus W3. Now substitute the values, W1, what will be the value of W1? Q1, V1 of R1 vector plus Q2, V2 of R2 vector plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 r1 r1 so this is the total work done by by these two charges in the presence of an external electric field so this total work done is stored in the form of potential energy so we can replace w with u therefore U is equal to Q1 V1 of position vector R1 plus Q2 V2 of position vector R2 plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 V1 R1. So this is the total potential in the presence of an external electric field.